what's up loopers, this is Matt McCoy. I'm an Ableton Live certified trainer and I'm also the founder of loopcommunity.com. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use video in Ableton Live. And I'm gonna show you how to use video in arrangement view and how to use video in session view. And they work differently, so we're gonna look at both of them individually, all right? So let's start with arrangement view. Video in arrangement view is a lot easier than session view. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna have a video playing along with a multi-track. So I have a video for Open Up the Heavens. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just drag this video file into arrangement view onto track one. Now it automatically pulls up Live's video window, all right? I can rename this track to be, you know, video. Now this video window, what you could do is have an external monitor, maybe like your projector, and bring that video window over to your external monitor and then make it full screen. So when I hit play on this track, it's go ahead and it's playing the video file First, two, three, inside of Ableton Live. Now I'm not gonna use the audio that's actually on that video because I'm actually wanting to use multi-tracks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make this a little smaller just for um, screen real estate. And on the left hand side, I have all my multi-tracks. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drag these in now. So I'm gonna bring in click, or sorry, the cues. I'm gonna rename this to be cues. And let's just bring in everything else, all right? Holding shift, command to drop. So now I have all my individual multi-tracks for Open Up the Heavens. So I'm gonna turn the volume down, or I could even just mute the video track because I don't want the audio from the video. We're gonna be playing with the tracks themselves here, all right? I'm gonna set my tempo to 100, turn my metronome on, and let's go ahead and hit stop and hit play. So my multi-tracks are playing two, three, four. along with the video. I can skip ahead here so you can hear the difference. So this would be a really great way to maybe play a lyric video along with a multi-track file. And that's how you use video in arrangement view. Now using video in session view isn't as easy, but it is possible. You just have to use a third-party plugin called VideoSync. You can get that from their website. Once you download this plugin called VideoSync, you can use it inside of Ableton Live to play video clips in session view. I'm going to show you how to do that now. So first thing we're going to do is uh, in session view, I'm going to go ahead and right click and I'm going to rename this track to video. All right. And I'm going to drag my video file in like this. Now you'll notice that Ableton Live is going to make this little pop-up that says video can only be displayed in arrangement view but we're actually gonna trick it and we're gonna make it work. So just hit okay. You'll notice that if I hit play, it plays the audio of that video clip, Two, three, but it's four. not playing the actual video. So now what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and just bring in our multi-tracks. So I'm gonna go ahead and just bring in the cues here. Let's bring in the rest of the tracks. Um, because again, we're not gonna use the audio from the video. We're gonna be using our multi-track stems. So let's go ahead and uh, set our tempo to 100, turn the metronome on, and let's hit play. Okay, so our multi-tracks are Intro, two, set up, three, those are playing. Four. Now we just need to get the video to work. Once you install VideoSync, I'm gonna go to my finder, I'm gonna pull up my applications. If I go to uh, applications and go to VideoSync, and first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and drag the master plugin from VideoSync onto the master fader. And you'll see down here where it says VideoSync is not running. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna launch the VideoSync app by just double clicking, all right? And now VideoSync is running, but it says control surface not connected. So let's go ahead and go to live preferences. And under live preferences, if you go to link in MIDI, under control surfaces, you need to scroll down and choose video sync. All right. Now you'll notice that it says connected. And I have this video window. Intro. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and just redrag in this video file. Just like this. Intro. And let's hit play. And you'll notice that now my video file is playing in video sync. If I double click on this video file, it'll make it full screen. 
And you can also drag this to maybe an external monitor to make it full screen so that it's showing up on your maybe screen, you know, behind you at your church. So the Video Sync is honestly a really awesome third-party plugin that lets you seamlessly use video inside of Ableton Live. And it works really well. So that's how you use video in Session View and Arrangement View. Enjoy.